What's up, Clean My Space Nation? This week, we're making a Clean With Me video and we're tackling a long overdue project here at the CMS HQ, our bedroom closet. It's been three years since we cleaned it last, so let's get to it. Here's what you'll need. A couple of bins. I'm using one for clothing which will be donated and the other for clothing to pass along to family and friends. A vacuum cleaner, not my favorite tool. All-purpose cleaner and a microfiber cloth. Yep, that's a maker's cloth. A garbage bag. A large flat surface, I'm using my bed. And if possible, some help if you can get it. The first phase is pretty straightforward as it only involves one step, removing absolutely everything from our closet and placing it on or around the bed. We stripped our closet bare, including all of the clothes that were sitting on the top shelf, the clothes that were hanging, and the clothes that were in the drawers. We also moved all of the other stuff that was clogging up our closet. Blankets, suitcases, shoes, shoe boxes, old purses, hampers, and even my wedding dress. Just about everything. Let's move on to wave two. This one shouldn't take very long, but it is important that this gets done before bringing anything back into the closet. We're going to spray and wipe all of the horizontal surfaces and give the closet a good vacuuming. Well, Chad will. We'll also throw away any garbage at this time. All right, it's time for wave three, and it's also time to call upon patience and persistence and all the mental energy you can summon as this wave is going to take quite a while and might even get a little overwhelming. You are going to touch each and every piece of clothing on your own and decide whether it stays or whether it goes. If you haven't worn it in six months, it goes. If it was a gift and even though you never wear it and feel obligated to hang on to it, it needs to go. If you keep passing it over in the closet, say bye bye. This is your chance to hold yourself accountable for the state of your closet. I was trying to slim my closet space requirements by about 40% and I think Chad parted with about 60% of his wardrobe. Congratulations. This is great because we get a more tranquil, less cluttered closet, getting dressed is a lot easier, and all of our clothes get a chance at a second life with someone who might actually wear them. We're using this opportunity to purge hangers because less clothes means less hangers, so we've kept the nicest one and parted with the others. And look at this, four huge bins of clothes that are going to a better place. And that leaves me with one last decision, and I think I might need your help with this one, CMS Nation. This is my wedding dress, and I love it dearly. But I haven't worn it or frankly even looked at it in the last five years or so. I just 
love it and I can't imagine parting ways with it, but I know that so many people donate theirs. So what do you guys think? Is it worth donating, sending it off to someone else, letting them have a happy wedding, or do you hang on to it for sentimental reasons? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Our closet looks so much better and has so much more space. It's going to be a much easier experience finding what to wear in the mornings. I hope you enjoyed this clean with me video and now it's your turn. What space would you like to clean with me next? Leave me a comment in the comment box down below. And make sure to check out these three videos that I've linked for you. I am sure you will love them. Thanks guys and I'll see you next week.